So, good morning you beautiful people. Hope everyone's well. So I've had to come back to um, Koi uh, um, Samroy Yacht Nature Park that I was at yesterday because there was a part of it that I missed which was the boardwalk. Um, but the trouble is I had to pay another 200 baht just to do the boardwalk. So it is what it is. Um, but I can do the other things again if I want to. But because I'm heading down south I can't. So yeah, I'm going to take you in and uh, have a little walk around this boardwalk. Yeah, ladies, it was quite funny there. I was trying to, trying to get some money off. I was going, no, oh, I've done it all yesterday. I only wanted to do a little bit today. And they was going, no, it's 200. And then the old girl, she's going, I'm, she's saying, you have a madam. You can have me and then I let you have free. And I was like, no, thank you. <laughs> Bless her. But yeah, anyway, guys, so we're on this boardwalk. Oh, there's a beautiful bird there. Um, and it's basically lilies. I, I can't think what they're called, but I know they're, they're lilies, but they call them saint, yeah? So, yeah, you can see. Lotus fields, I think they're called. They call it lotus fields. There's a bird on this there, guys. She's off. Um, but yeah, it's got a beautiful, it's in a beautiful area again. It's, obviously, this is the other side. So yesterday, we was over the top of these mountains on the other side, which is where all the other stuff is. But this side is the lowest, the lowest ponds or lowest fields, whatever you want to call them. Um, I don't actually know why they use them and what they use them for. But uh, and this walkway is used to be a lot longer than this, but it's in disrepair, so they're actually repairing a lot of it now. I think we can walk right out to that walk up point over there, um, which we'll do. Um, but then some of it is obviously closed off, which we'll see where it's closed off. I wanted to fly the drone, but because it's a national park, you can't do it. Uh, I did ask just to make sure, really. Well, that was it. You can't go any further than that, so really, it's literally 50 metres, I suppose. Um, which would have been fine if I had my ticket from yesterday. But 200 part for that was a bit of a joke. But, as I say, it's, uh, that's only four quid or five quid. But put some food on someone's table, I suppose. But yeah, so today we're going to head down south a bit further. I'm not sure where, I'm just going to go along, try to hit the coastline, because there is a freeway or a, a main road that goes down. But I want to try to sort of keep on the scenic route as much as I can, uh, because obviously, there's a lot more sea, it takes a lot longer, I keep stopping and starting. And then eventually, probably midday, I love something to eat, obviously, and three o'clock, I start looking for somewhere to stay. Uh, if it looks good, I'll stay there. I mean, there's a, there's a few results on the way down. But yeah, so, but all good, guys. You can do a boat trip here to go around these fields, but I'm guessing it's going to be pretty much what it is. It's just lily pads and bloody flowers. Uh, doesn't appear to be much wildlife in there but yeah so no everything's all good i hope everyone's well back home anyway let's carry on Is that it? 200 baht and I can walk to there. Okay, right, so we're going a bit rogue again. We're way off the path, um, but I wanted to follow the coast. So uh, that's what I was doing, and then I saw a little road that went off, and then I saw a little track that went off, and now I'm on the track. So it just comes down to it. But I thought I'd uh, do a little video. It's beautiful though. I love this sort of stuff, as you know, so that's a bit muddy. Woo. But yeah, so here we are at the beach. Stop the old bike for a sec. Oh. Nice. So over there, 
It's like a fishing place. So I'm going to work my way through to there. And have a little nose. Yeah, stunning nonetheless. I was going to fly the drone, but it's a little bit windy. I don't know what happened last time I flew the drone in the wind. It chopped my nipple off. Me out to this fishing village, so I've had a little ride around and I'm just going back down now. But yeah, so it's a proper little fishing market. Lots of fishing boats and uh, smell of fish. far guys I'm probably only about 50k 60k from Wahin um, maybe a bit maybe maximum 100 and it's now one o'clock I just keep stopping uh, yeah it's, it's, it's just a, yeah I won't carry on what I'm gonna say because you've heard it all before but there you go hence the reason why I keep stopping Showing you the beaches as I go down south, guys. This is Bankrupt, Bankrupt Beach. I know it says up Bankrupt, yeah, Bankrupt Beach. We're heading on that way, I'm guessing. Pretty quiet down this way. Beast yourself, aren't we? So this is now called Ban Good. So it seems like it's just a foreign place where the where the Brits have been rushing to buy their accommodation. There's not much here, it's just purely places to stay. I've got to pull off a little bit here. I'll go a bit from. Yeah, so there's a few uh, results like this one here. Got a bushfire, baby! Back in Oz. Got a bushfire going down.
Morning guys. Right, as you saw from that previous clip, I was up early to see the sunrise. So it's now 10 to 8, I'm gonna get on the road. I'm gonna be going over a mountain. It's a little tiny road, it takes two hours, but it looks like it goes up and over a mountain. So yeah, wish me luck, let's do it. Okay guys, we've gone rogue. Check out this, we're going up and over. So yeah, this is the road that goes through to the other side.
point that I realised I hadn't fucked up. Stunning. This is absolutely amazing, so I'm way up on the top now. I'll pull the map out and show you where I am. Okay, so this is where we started in Bangkok. Worked our way down and up here, then back down to here to Ho Hin. We spent four nights in Ho Hin. Spent a day there. Stayed somewhere here for the night. Or Shampong here. And now we're working our way across this little red path here to Ragon, which is down Renong, and that is the border with um, Burma. So we're up here. So if anyone's ever going to be travelling and want to see, take this road. It is stunning. And I reckon I'm about here somewhere now, halfway across, three quarters away. Yeah, very nice. Vietnam. Um, there's a big river here. So the next shot I'll show you will be Burma or Myanmar as it's now known. Up here is the river crossing. Halfway across that crossing it changes to Burma which I'll show you in a minute. Right guys I'm trying to um, get closer to the water but I don't know if I'm gonna but I'm heading back that way. So but anyway that over there is Myanmar or formerly known as Burma. Um, I won't be flying a drone here. Probably end up in a Burmese prison with one of Joanna Lumley's long lost family. I actually forgot, I actually forgot to mention that we're heading into the town of Rannock, um, which is a popular place for people to go and do their visa runs. So uh, obviously you just jump off the border. This 
Chis Sang Fong Port. It's very, uh, very hello. So yeah, over the other side of the water there is Miramar. So just thought I'd uh, get a bit closer so you could see. Oh, boat there, no. Yeah, it's a proper old community that lives there, but look at it. It smells of fish. Proper stinks of fish. But yeah, over there's Burma. Muslims, they look like a Muslim minority, I'm not, I'm not sure. 